games and occasion here in Orlando. And as they came in earlier, the Magic were dressed for what they hope is a special night for them and their fans. The skyline of Orlando seen here during a gorgeous sunset. Quite a backdrop for our broadcast tonight. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter is David Aldrin. Hey Dave. Kevin, thanks. 2019's most improved player, Pascal Siakam, went from an energy player to an all-star. Siakam said, after every season, I look at the things I have to do better. When the summertime comes, I just attack it and work. It's about making sure that I'm a better player than I was the year before. Kevin? Oh, you know what? I love that work ethic. Thanks, D.A. Here are the five for the Raptors. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Lowry out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Boucher in at center. And for Orlando, they've got Fultz. Jonathan Isaac is out there with Porter. Then it's Gary Harris, and it's Carter in at the five spot. And the Magic start out with the ball. Now Fultz outside Porter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And it's important that Porter stays aggressive. But when he does this, it helps force the D's hand. The Magic shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. The first one falls. And what you like about Porter, he can do a little bit of everything for you. Defend it, rebound it, space the floor, and he's unselfish. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. There's Siakam. Here's Boucher. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Harris kicks to Fultz. Six to shoot. And finished off by Fultz. Oh, so good, man. Utilizing the screen and roll. I mean, he knows how to get a little separation, and when he does, he's a scoring threat. Now, here is Lowry. That one falls. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Carter against Ananobi. Harris up top. He kicks to Fultz. From deep three-point range, offensive rebound, and then Carter with the jam. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good, aggressive play in the paint. Guys, it's all about persistence on the offensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Now, here's Lowry. Carter pulls it in. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. The Raptors have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Van Vliet against Harris. Lowry with the ball. Porter with it. Lowry picks him up. Here's Fultz. A reverse. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Here's Siakam. He's now one for two with that bucket. Yeah, what a display of quickness there. If you need to get out and run, Siakam's your guy. Well, Greg, Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019. And as we've talked about, had a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumps so much again. He deserved the recognition. 
He continued to press himself to be an elite forward. Rare for a former MIP winner to even be considered for the award more than once. Now here's Porter following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Back to Porter. Got a piece of it. Shoots over Ananobi. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Now, that one from Van Vliet. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Porter. And that one goes out of bounds. Just touched by Porter. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. Trailing by two. Rejected by Harris. Well, a sound defender is Harris with excellent fundamentals. Shows you good timing on that block, too. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. The Raptors have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. To the wing right side. Here's Lowry. Not enough on that one as it misses. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to see. Porter, no luck. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. Got a hand on it. And here's the fast break. Siakam leading the way. Here's Van Vliet. And it's sent back by Isaac. What a wingspan Isaac has. I mean, this guy is incredible at denying shots. And he loves to do it. Ananobi against Porter. Pass to Van Vliet. Lock at six. Over Harris. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. Launches it. Ananobi, no good. Magic leading by four. Here's Porter. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. Fleshing out his game more and more. Timeout, timeout. I really like seeing Porter go to work inside. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Siakam passes to Ananobi. Toronto working the ball around now. Back to Van Vliet. At the elbow, it's Siakam. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Siakam's got his second bucket of the game to go. With a harmonious blend of length and strength, Siakam has become a dependable interior scoring option. Now here is Carter, and there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. The Raptors making a switch here. Ross passes to Isaac. Over in the corner, Fultz. Six on the shot clock. And 
Finished off by Fultz. Oh, I love the intensity of Fultz. He brings it all the time. Has that dial turned up. Van Vliet passes to Lowry. Poke loose. Isaac with the steal. Here's Fultz. And Orlando again with the bucket. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic oh. is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll, in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an oldie but goodie in Andre Iguodala. He's still yes. terrific. And I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and in the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. Here's Siakam following the bucket by Orlando. And it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Orlando making some changes. Ahmed Bamba, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. And Anthony subbed in for Markel Fultz. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Raptors. Hood comes in for Kyle Lowry. Here's Birch. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, way to play and attack both and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And so he makes both from the line. Orlando leading by six. Now here's Anthony. Isaac outside. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for Orlando? Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots, a key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. Raptors trail by 10. Van Vliet left side. The pass to Baines. Takes it from 10. Okiki grabs the miss. Boy, great effort on defense there against the guy who typically makes that. No good from Ross. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Pass to Baines. Oh, Van Vliet covered by Anthony. Bamba against Van Vliet. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Ross, that's good. And the Magic lead by 10. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Trent. And here is Van Vliet. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Passes it to Ross. Shot clock at six. That one doesn't drop. And Toronto will go the other way with it. And fleet against Pompa. 
There's 48 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Van Vliet. Can't connect from short range. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. You know, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. This is his first free throw of the game. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year, 78%, so not too bad. No good on the free throw. And, you know, right now, for me, it's all about confidence as it relates to Isaac. I mean, this guy has the tools to be special. I think he just needs to be more consistent. Johnson, he's checked in for Toronto. And he sinks the second. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Van Vliet outside. Here's Trent. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Hampton. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. You really can't criticize the work he did at the line a year ago. 82% on the season. And guys, Shoot the numbers two. don't lie. I mean, he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. The first one falls for. And he can't hit the second. Orlando leading by eight. Inside. Bamba. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. You know, guys, it's really all about focus while under pressure. And right there, Bamba shows why that's a valuable trait to have. And that one falls for Bamba. Well, it's fairly obvious, but it's important that Bamba stays healthy so he can keep improving. I mean, his skill set and physical tools both are very impressive. His upside is way up. With one on the clock, and so it's the Orlando Magic holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Pascal Siakam before the game tonight shared his thoughts reminiscing about his championship year with Kawhi Leonard. He was always a team. I think we don't look at one player and say he's going to save us. You know, we got to save each other. We got to, we got, we got to play for each other. And Greg, that's how Siakam plays the game himself. Yeah. Versatile, very unselfish, and a franchise player in the making. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a very convincing performance from the Magic so far. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Hampton out there with Michael Carter-Williams. Then it's Bamba, then it's Porter. And it's Ennis in at the small fold. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Orlando with the ball. After the Raptors pick up two, Carter-Williams finds Bamba. Shot clock at five. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. Oh. 
Boucher passes to Van Vliet. And he comes up with the deuce. Van Vliet's got eight. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Hampton kicks to Bumba. Here's Ennis, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. That, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> the Raptors making a switch here. Lowry's checked in, so he gets them both. And so Lowry will bring it up for Toronto. Nine point game. To the middle. Here's Boucher. And Bamba pulls it down. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Here's Lowry, and it's good from the elbow. And with the body control and jump shot Lowry possesses, he has been known to torch you from the perimeter. Now, here's Bamba. He has five. Ennis kicks to Carter Williams. Rebound by the Raptors. Left side, Hood. Outside, Lowry. Here's on an open. No points in the game yet for him. Lock at six. Shoots the three. That one's good, and the Magic lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Kyle Lowry. You know, that was a time when three-point shooting was a liability for Lowry. But the guy has put in the time, and now he is a solid option from deep. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket, too. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. And Del Carter comes in for Muhammad Bamba. And it's Gary Harris in for Hampton. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. And the free throw, no good. The Syracuse alum, Carter Williams, a combo guard with really outstanding court vision and excellent speed. Here's Lowry. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got four rebounds in this game. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass really badly in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. The Magic have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. trail by nine now Lowry he has seven Siakam left side and it's Orlando with the rebound Porter's got five rebounds tonight here's Harris Johnson with the block and they'll keep possession Toronto's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far Boucher finds Ananobi and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. The Raptors have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Siakam. After a quiet first couple seasons in the league, Siakam really took off in year three when, when he helped the Raptors win their first NBA championship. Oh. 
Siakam hits them both. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now, here's Fultz. He's got 10. Now running. Here comes Lowry pushing the ball up. And the shot goes down. Lowry's got nine. Magic leading by five. Fultz with the ball. Outside, Porter. Banked in off the glass. Porter's got five points in the quarter. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Pass to Lowry. Now here's Johnson. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Lowry brings the double. Volts kicks to court. Now the pass to Ennis. Fultz against Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Fultz, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Siakam. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Orlando Magic. They've led by as many as 11 points. Back to Fultz. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Lowry. Raptors trail by four. Siakam's shot is off. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Surveying the floor, Gary Harris recognizes when his teammates have open looks and gets it to him. Now, here's Siakam. Six points for him. Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Fultz. And the layup is good. And now an eight-point magic lead way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the buck. Siakam misses. The Magic have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. It's tipped and stolen by Siakam. Lowry drawing the double team. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. Your son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was, it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top-notch. So that process, about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. will make substitutions. Now here's Ross. Vaults dishes to Carter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And he's a crafty, kind of an old school big. Carter Jr. knows how to keep defenders off balance. For Orlando, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And the first one at the line is good. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing a bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Isaac's checked in for Fultz. Carter hits them both. And here's Lowry. 11 points in the game. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And what a take from Lowry, using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. Back to Anthony. 
kicks it to Ross. But he gets it back. Picking up his second foul here has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. The Magic have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. First free throw is good. And, and Terrence Ross, the wing from Washington, signed a four-year deal with the Magic in 2019. The team loves what he brings as a 3 and D type of player. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Pass to Trent. Back to Lowry for three. That one misses. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And Greg with Ross, he's finally found his role. He's also a great finisher at the rim. You know, he seemed lost early in his career with Toronto, but he has found a home with Orlando and is playing his best basketball. Knows what's expected of him and how he can help contribute to win. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And that's been the key to this league. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. How about the anticipation from Carter Jr.? Has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Raptors. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And here's Anthony for three. The shot will not fall. Raptors trail by ten. An even three-on-three -three break. Trent passes to Lowry. Van Vliet against Ross. Six to shoot. Van Vliet kicks to Lowry. Right at the free throw line. Kept alive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For Toronto, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Shoot two. And the first one drops. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. Bomba is checked in for Orlando. Good on both. Here's Anthony. Passes it to Isaac. Anthony on the wing. Now recovering. Anthony's shot is off. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Trailing here by eight. Here's Birch. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Birch has got six. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. And Clark last season for Mo Bamba, another step in his progression. Still limited minutes. The team waiting for things to click for the young man. Agreed. I mean, it's the offense that needs the most work, Greg. But they knew he was going to be a project. They knew this was going to be a work in progress with Mo Bamba. But his defense is already there. I mean, he can hit the glass and protect the rim with the best of them. First free throw is good. The Magic making a switch here. Hampton's checked in, and the Raptors also making a change. Hood's checked in. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Raptors trail by seven. Here's Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. He has five. 
They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Anthony. In the corner, Bamba with it. The shot from the low post is good. And the Magic lead by seven. Good position that time around the bucket, and when Bamba does that, he's hard to stop. Van Vliet passes to Trent. Baines against Bamba. From beyond the arc, that shot missing. The Magic go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Trent. He has five. Back to Van Vliet. Baines trying to get open. Yep, it goes, and the Magic lead is cut back down to seven after the points coming from Van Vliet. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two for one. And that's how you want to end the quarter. Now, here's Hampton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Ross. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Yeah, I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Magic leading by five. Anthony looking it over. Pass to Hampton. There's the three. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. It's the Magic. They lead by five. 2K Sports back in a moment from the Amway Center. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jim Smith. A tremendous start for Markel Fultz. He had 14 points and one rebound. And, Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Orlando played? The rebounding margin says a lot about this game. They've been the better team in that department so far, no doubt. Now, I love the aggressive attitude that they came out with tonight. And that's the difference. And they're not going to get out worse. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? Ernie, you see this Band-Aid I got on my wrist? You know why? Because they're fouling too much. It's tough to get going in transition when the other team is shooting free throws. And also, I think they've been caught out of position and have been reacting way too much defensively. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Markel Fultz. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So the Raptors five right now. And Anobi and Siaka in at the forward slot. Like Van Vliet out there with Lowry. And it's Boucher in at the five down low. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. And not really great numbers for him at the line, but really not terrible either. Right around 70%. You know, yeah, guys, last year was a rough one for him at the stripe. I mean, it's going to be hard for him not to improve on those numbers. They were that bad. Free throw good. Porter. So it's Toronto now. Eight-point game. Down low, here's Lowry. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. Fultz against Lowry. Over in the corner, Isaac. No good from outside. 
Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Here's Van Vliet. Bucket is good. Van Vliet's got 14 points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Now, here's Fultz. No one near Isaac as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. Van Vliet with it. Now guarded by Fultz. And Lowry gets it to go. That's three of four here to start the half. Orlando, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Fultz, the pass to Harris. On the wing, Porter. Back to Isaac. Just five on the clock. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing for him. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Everything working for him out of the half as they've hit four of their first five shots. Lowry against Fultz. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his third foul of the game. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense, and that is one heck of a rejection right there. Here is Carter. Six points for him. Here's the lob for Harris. And the basket by Isaac. Isaac's got his second basket of the game. Man, I admire how Isaac fights through the contact there, man. Grit and grind on display. Not letting the defense tie him down on these shots. And Lowry gets it to go. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Fultz, the pass to Carter. Got a piece of it, and he recovers it. Now the Raptors moving it up. Van Vliet wide open. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Van Vliet's got the lead up to four now for the Raptors. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now a timeout called by Orlando. One of the stories here, Kyle Lowry getting it done today. He just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. Siakam, and it's sent back by Isaac, and that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. And the Raptors with the ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points, and the call will be against Harris. That's foul number two for him. Michael Carter-Williams checked in for Gary Harris. Michael Carter-Williams. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Boucher kicks to Lowry. And Lowry gets double teamed. Clock at four. Shots good by Boucher. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Here's the pass to Porter. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. 
Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Stanley Johnson, he's checked in for Toronto. Here's Siakam. Orlando grabs the miss. Isaac's got eight rebounds in this game. On the wing, Porter. Carter, right side. Will it go? Here's Isaac trying to get open as Clark. Good on that shot, and with that, the Toronto lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Isaac. Toronto's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. It's blocked. Excellent timing that time from Fultz, and I like the edge that he plays defense with. That's impressive for a young guy. Johnson outside. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got 11 rebounds in the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Siakam passes to Lowry. He is looking for Siakam and finds him. And, you know, Lowry looks to set up his open teammates beautifully. Nice dime there, and it really keeps the team tied together nicely. Now here's Carter Williams. Outside Porter. He kicks the faults. Isaac against Siakam. Isaac misses. Toronto with the ball. They're on a 19-4 run right now. And it's Lowry penetrating. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately... The execution has been lacking. Siakam's shot is off. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Now here's Porter. 12 points for him. And it's Carter Williams in the corner. Basket counts. Carter Williams is a wily, wiry athlete. He finishes well through contact. There's little you can do short of fouling him to keep him from making these shots. And the Raptors call time here. Siakam, just five to shoot. Bamba with the block. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Toronto. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. They do, and you also see a lot of points have come off the dribble penetration. They've been aggressive on the bounce at attacking the defense. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for the Magic. And the Raptors also making a change. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Magic trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. 
Anthony. The pass to Ross. Lock at six over Lowry. No good from Ross. They swipe it. Anthony dishes to Ennis. Back to Anthony. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. Cole Anthony. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the Raptors with some changes. Siakam is checked in for Aaron Baines. And Ananobi subbed in for Hood. So Anthony nails both of them. Raptors leading by five. Here's Trent. Five points in the game. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Pass to Carter. Ross kicks to Anthony. Four on the clock. Ennis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And I like what he did at the line a season ago. How about 81%? Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And the first one at the line is good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. And Ennis drops them both. Toronto leading by five. Now Lowry, 20 points for him. To the left wing. Siakam, left side. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Siakam and Orlando making a change here. Hampton's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Here's Carter. Birch grabs the board. Birch has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. The pass to Siakam. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. There's the call. It's a foul on Orlando. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. Throw good, Siakam. Siakam hits them both. And it's
it's Anthony with the ball for the Magic. They trail by nine points. Pass to Ross. Carter dishes to Ross. On the strike, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Ross has got six points. Feasting on the leftovers, eating big time. Ross stepping inside the arc and making it happen. Count that bucket. Siakam's got the lead up to nine now for the Raptors. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now here's Ross. Six points for him. Okiki, no good. 156 left in the third. Ananobi has the open look. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. And what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. This is it to Ross. There's Okiki covered by Siakam. Kicks it to Hampton. Five on the clock. Over Siakam. Hampton misses. Raptors leading by 11. It's three on three on the fast break. Pass to Lowry. Here's Birch. The pass to on and open. Oh, no good with the triple. Ross passes to Anthony. Back to Ross. Pass to Okiki. He kicks it to Hampton. On deep. Siakam pulls it in. Toronto's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Pass to Trent. He gets that one. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Pass to Okiki. Back to Anthony. Now here's Ross. Not a lot of room. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Here's Trent. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Trent's got seven points. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Raptors lead by 15. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. They've got Wendell Carter. Anthony is out there with Hampton. Then there's Harris. And it's Okiki in at the power forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Here's Hampton trying to get open as Carter. Hampton misses. Out to the wing. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Siakam's got 10 points here in the second half. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Anthony kicks to Harris. Shot clock at six. It's Carter, high post. No good on that one. And Toronto will come the other way. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Trent can't hit. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Hampton dishes to Carter. Rebound by the Raptors. Right side, Lowry. Bangs home the trifecta. Lowry's got 25 points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's Anthony. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Toronto. 
They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. Shooting for Toronto. Oh, I don't know. Two shots. And the first one drops. And the potential Ananobi has is exciting. Has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. He's perfect from the line this time. Magic. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Fultz looking around to the inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Hey, I tell you what, I like the fact that Markel Fultz is not afraid of contact. He doesn't mind getting roughed up. When he's going up with his shot, he plays through that contact nicely. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And the feeling is with Fultz, tremendous potential. Could be one of those game-changing type point guards who scores and passes with ease. He hits the second from the line. Here's Van Vliet. And the pass to Siakam. Shoots over Isaac. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First free throw is good. Siakam hits them both. Boy, is he really getting after it here in the second half, just drawing a ton of fouls. Now, here's Fultz, Boucher defending, and there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That'll be his second foul of the game. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Fultz. And the execution in their half-court offense has left a lot to be desired this half. Just way too much one-on-one -on -one and not nearly enough ball movement. The quick look, no good that time. And finished off by Fultz. Love seeing this from Harris. I mean, proving how effective he can be as a passer. Van Vliet left side. And again, no good by Toronto. The Magic trail by 21. 
Poked away. Pass to Porter. To the paint. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. What's up? Persistence pace. Love seeing Isaac stay with the play like that, using his height and the high release on those nice finishes. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Siakam against Isaac. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Jonathan Isaac. He's off on the first. Good on the second free throw. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Fultz with the ball. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. At the line, shooting one. Markel Fultz. One shot. That free throw good from Fultz. Raptors leading by 16. Outside Lowry. A floater. He lays it in. Lowry's got five points now this quarter. Deceptive and skilled at that guard position. When Lowry's scoring like this, good luck trying to defend him. The shot's good from Carter. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. the inbound pass and finished off by Siakam. The Magic trail by 18. Now here's Fultz. Lowry brings the double. Here's Carter. And contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. That's good from Carter. Hits them both. And here is Siakam. Isaac with the steal. Shoots over Van Vliet. Here's Carter. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Here's Ananobi. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And plays with solid floor recognition. Siakam continues to fine tune those playmaking skills. To the middle. It's tipped. Boucher with the steal. 
and even three-on-three -three break. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play going to the line for one. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Fultz, who brings up the ball for the Magic. Outside, Porter. Siakam against Isaac. Passes it to Harris. Five to shoot. Shoots over Van Vliet. They grab their own miss. And then Carter with the dunk. Nice job. Clean some space out under the boards and setting himself up there for the putback. And not just any old putback, Clark, but a big, big follow. You can't be pretty, though, with those second chance opportunities. I mean, just put it in the basket. With a floater, good work there as it goes. Lowry's got 29 in the game. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Hey, I don't know if it was changing baskets or what, guys, but they clearly look a lot better offensively. Stolen by Van Vliet. Two points. That one goes. Van Vliet's got 12 points here in the second half. And whatever it was at halftime worked because their offense far more effective here in the second. They finally found some sets that are working for them. Boy, both so good at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. And I like watching this guy score the ball. Van Vliet kicks to low. Van Vliet against Isaac on an OB. Misses the three. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Auto Porter. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Raptors leading by 19 points. Outside Lowry. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. And Lowry has it in the corner. Clock at six. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. And the Raptors call time here. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. present our New Balance player of the game, Kyle Lowry. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. 
they were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Raptors. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Markel Fultz. Defense getting too close. Lowry has that instinct to read what's happening, takes the shot there into the contact. First one falls for him. He hits both from the stripe. The Magic trail by 19. Here's Fultz. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Fultz has got 24 points. And, you know, Fultz has great control on these flows. It's not an easy shot, but he makes it look easy. Here's Lowry, and the basket is good. And the Raptors lead by 19. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Lowry brings the double. Knocked away. And a wide open look for Porter. Offline with his three. Toronto's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Out to the right wing. Top of the key, Siakam. Here's Ananobi. His three pointers off the mark. Magic have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. The kick out to Porter. Pass to Isaac. Let's it go with the three. Rebound by the Raptors. Boucher's got rebound number eight now on the night. Lowry passes to Van Fleet. And here is Ananobi. Six to shoot. Lowry drawing the double team. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Raptors making a switch here. Trent's checked in. The Magic trail by 19. Two minutes. Here's Fultz. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. At the line, shooting two. Markel Fultz. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. Toronto leading by 17. Here's Trent. Makes it off the glass. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Plays it up and banks it in. Fultz has got 28. You know, Fultz handles contact really well for a young player. Excellent at staying under control and then finishing through the contact. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Raptors. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at seems. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Kyle Lowry. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. And it's a completely new group for Toronto. Oh. 
They get a hand on it. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. 107 left in the fourth quarter. Boy, I tell you, Bamba's wingspan and his standing reach is ridiculous. This dude was born to throw it down. And there's the pass to Watsonabe. Johnson with it. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. And it's Baines missing. And it's Orlando's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Ennis passes to Bronze Dacus. The dish to Bamba. Yeah, you can see Bamba's composure down there. I mean, even when he's under pressure, he stays aggressive and calm. At the line, shooting two. Mohamed Bamba. Shooting two. And that one falls for Bamba. That one is no good. Uh, a disappointing trip to the line there. Even though it was just one miss, now is not the time to be missing those. Flynn kicks to Baines. Pass to Watsonabe. Down to five on the shot clock. Pamba with the block. Now Ennis. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyle, congrats on the win. What did you guys want to accomplish and get this win? Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed, you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Thanks again, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. And we'll see you next time.